Well, I got the idea of making a video, but it was kind of too late. <laughs> Never mind. Good morning. This is just Sutepe. It's not really tall. I don't think I have. I actually do have a video on it. We did a Molotov cocktail in here. Yep. Let's see if there's somebody here. Oh, seems like there's no one. Not that, some sort of a surprise. But yeah, what a foggy day. I don't think I'll see the sunrise at all. What a jerk am I? Nice game. With the car. Which means I polluted the atmosphere for nothing. <laughs> because it doesn't seem like I'll see the sunshine. Although it, it's supposed to be at 7.55 and uh, right now it's like 7.40 So it's supposed to be 15 minutes, can you imagine that? Damn it, if I knew that would be that foggy I wouldn't even go I mean shit, never mind, maybe something's supposed to happen but like look at that beautiful tree We call this parichka, it means like <laughs> Like a small money, <laughs> like coin you know, but small coin, I don't know not exactly because we have a word for coin and it's moneta. So small coin would be monetka. So parichka it literally like small money. You know we have these small forms like yeah, never mind. So this is the the so called perfect circle. <laughs> yeah. There's a generation slightly older than me that calls me calls it that way there are some big parties in here during the summertime especially so yeah my thing is my second video on Yasu Tepe this is the name of the thing Yasu Tepe Tepe means like small hill it's Turkish word I don't know what the hell Yasu is we should ask our Turkish friends but yeah this is Slivan again my town our town and this is some plant well, okay, yeah, doing absolutely bullshit. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I was over there yesterday. Uh, if you have watched the video, this one is but Mishbeer, the one that you see on the front, yeah, with the two hills. And uh, yeah, Mechevrach and the other with T. Uh, this one is Hamam, but I don't know, there's a point of me telling you all of them, but never mind. Uh, that over there is Barmuk, Barmuk Bar. Uh, it's not pretty good scene right now because of the big thick fog but over there we have Gagovitz then it's Matsuka it sounds kind of Japanese I know then we have the blue stones or scene to come in there's a car if you can see it moving over there on the mountain or at least it seems like one never mind and uh yeah you cannot see anything from over there but there's Grebenet as well it's the last mountain over it uh, the sun rises, but I don't think I'll ever see the sun. So look, if the sun happens to arrive at some point, I mean, if it's visible, I will probably make a continuation of this video. If not, have a nice day. <laughs> I'm freezing. Well, the sun is supposed to rise at any given moment. I'm not really expecting it because of that thick fog, but Really, actually, the clouds are getting kind of up, and the fog. I don't know. Maybe it's clouds and fog. Maybe it's just one of them. Can't really tell. But look at Gagovitz. Look at Bermuk. They're kind of clearer. Although it, it seems like it's getting down again. I don't know. It's moving. It's dynamic. But if you look at the west, it's much more clear than it was at the previous part of the video. So yeah, the sun is supposed to come from there, the east, and. Um, don't seem like we'll see it, although I still have some hope. But what I'm filming about right now, the second part of the video, except for all this beauty, is that I'm just thinking about this place as a skate park, as I do for many years. Actually, just as from the time I skate, so that'll be maybe 2016. I've been pondering on this Yasotepe pool 
like uh, what would it be if it was a skate park it would be quite nice you know the style is in fact that way just look at the graffiti you know it's everywhere it's, yeah police sirens um it would be awesome if it just gets cleaned and maybe if it's done like a pool and then with some stuff inside you know some other ramps and who knows what uh, it will be fun so what I can do about it I've been thinking is like I can just bring some uh, how do you call this thing that you clean the floor with brooms yeah I think yeah bring some brooms or mm, shovels and etc and just uh, get some of the trash onto the corners uh, sorry it's not corners i know but never mind <laughs> onto the edges yeah i mean you can still technically call it a corner because it's 90 degrees over there so <laughs> never mind so if if we just push up the the garbage to to the walls um, we can clean these grasses out you know we can just do some small efforts to make it kind of skatable so maybe put some public attention to it you know bring some friends as well skate with them and um, create some sort of a desire maybe someday we'll be able to make a, a ramp or or bring a rail you know like do something more valuable but i think as a first step that would be quite beautiful to just create the spot you know because i bet somebody has skated here I'm not the first one who's thought about it, certainly. I haven't talked to many people about it, except for my dad, I think, and maybe some friends, but... Mm, yeah. By the way, I hope you hear me clear. I don't know. I should check in the previous video how you hear me. So, it's this great idea I have. It would be awesome if the skate park was done here instead of Damara, you know, because Damara is the place where it is right now, Damarski Most, and... Uh, this place has great potential i see that they, they've been doing fire over there <laughs> never mind so it's just this the kind of a streets time you know young people would come here definitely this is the the spot d spot you know with a big t h e because that, that's where parties are done and etc is it's just the atmosphere you know it's, it's you know it's far from houses like the nearest ones are over there like i don't know 200 meters 300 yeah say something like that you know it's it's higher than the houses so practically the noise it's not so strong when you get down off of the hill the height difference is not so big the altitude but it doesn't matter what i'm trying to say is just perfect i just imagine you know like a, a pool ramp over here me dropping in it'll be great hopefully someday we'll do it like this if i manage to do this project until the end of my life i'll be quite happy like i don't i'm putting some big goals but it just sounds beautiful so yeah it's been after 55 and sun hasn't raised yet so um actually i i can see the clouds are being kind of colored so yeah there's some, certainly some rays out there but I don't know when we're able to see something. So I'll just uh, get down, I guess. Not not gonna wait so long. I'll make some walk and then go back home. But I'll just show you the way, I guess. Until we get to the town. It's, well, it's not a secret place. You can come no matter who you are, where you're coming from. So I'll show you how to come to Yesetepe. That's plenty of ways, of course. I mean, if you just find the hill, you pick up any path and it's completely fine. But this here is the Russian neighborhood that you see ahead. You know, it's, it's weird because usually when I come here, it's during the night. Actually, probably almost every time I've been here, especially on the highest part, it was in the night. So <clears throat> I'm not used to looking at those stuff. You know these houses in that perspective because i don't see them during the night you know they're not so light uh, doesn't matter but it's again you see there's this bigger 
roll so you, you can take your bike as well it's completely fine I mean you have to be careful for your tires but oh my there's been some stuff in here yeah and this is where we get to the garbage part but that's normal we're in Bulgaria after all it's not Germany Germany probably has some kind of places like that as well so, yeah This street is Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin, and this one is Nikola Furnajev. So we're in the Russian neighborhood now, going to the city garden. That's it, have a nice time. I just want to come in this wind. Everything else has stopped glowing. But the Christmas decoration in the city park still does. The giant moon and Santa Claus sleigh. It's still glowing, and they do it during the day. What's the point? Spending some nice electricity, nice money, free money, oh yeah.